Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to look at quantization of input data. What is this quantization of input data? For processing an analog signal using a digital system, the analog signal has to be digitized by an A to D converter. This A to D converter consists of a sampler and a quantizer. Okay. We all know that the sampler will sample the value of analog signal at uniform intervals to produce a sequence of unquantized values of the signal. The quantizer, what will it do? It will quantize the analog value and produce the corresponding binary codes. So this process of assigning binary number to quantized analog value is also called as coding. Right. So there are two types of errors basically produced in A to D conversion process. Those errors are quantization errors and saturation errors. So what is the reason for this quantization errors? This is due to the representation of the sample signals by sampled signal by a fixed number of digital levels. Okay. So the second type of error, the saturation error occurs when the analog signal exceeds the dynamic range of the A to D converter. So basically in sign magnitude or once complement representation of binary numbers using B bits, using B bits binary code, we can generate two, 2 to the power of B minus 1 different binary numbers. Right. So we are actually going to split it into two different categories. One is for two's complement representation and other one is for sign magnitude or one's complement representation. So now let us look at the range of, um, uh, I mean, uh, now look, let us look at quantization step size or uh, Q for two's complement representation. For two's complement representation, it is R divided by 2 to the power of Whereas the same quantization step size for a sign magnitude or one's complement representation is represented by R divided by 2 to the power of B minus 1. What is this R? R is the range of the analog signal that is to be quantized. Okay. Then uh, Q is the quantization step size. Now let us consider X of N is the unquantized sample of the signal. We need to uh, find out the magnitude, right? So we are um, we are considering x of n as unquantized sample of the signal, and x q of n as the quantized sample of the signal. So what will be the quantization error? Error e of n is represented as x q of n minus x of n, where the range of error lies between minus q by two to plus q by two. So in, uh, in A to D converters, the quantization can be performed by using either truncation or rounding. But the quantization by rounding is actually preferred in A to D converters due to the zero mean value of quantization error and low variance when compared to truncation. Okay. So for a uniformly distributed random variable x in the interval x1 and x2, the expected mean value e and the variance is given by, so um, uh, we are actually calculating the mean and the variance, right? So the expected value of error mean signal is given by e of e is equal to 1 divided by q by 2 minus of minus q by 2 and the limits are between minus q by 2 to q by 2. Uh, it is e into de, right? While integrating this, we get the value mean is equal to 0. What is then the variance of the error signal? It can be obtained by sigma e square is equal to e of e square minus e square of e, right? So now driving the same for, uh, formula for, uh, pro, pro, for obtaining the random variable distribution. So e of e is equal to e of e which is equal to e of e square uh, the e of e square formula is from the variance we can obtain from the mean obtained we can uh, we can find out 1 divided by q by 2 minus of minus q by 2 to integral of minus q by 2 to q by 2 e square into de so integrate it and find out the value it is q square divided by 12 so the variance of the error signal sigma e square is equal to 1 by 12 that is uh, q by q square by 12 right 1 by 12 into what what is q it, for 2's complement it is 
2 um, uh, r divided by 2 power b, right? So, substitute that. So, what is the final formula we get? Sigma e square is equal to r square divided by 12 into 2 to the power of minus 2b. So, the variance of error signal is also called as steady state noise power due to input quantization, right? So, uh, the value of b is infinite only if a to D converter has infinite precision, which is not practically possible, right? So, how uh, we can simply find out the value by, by substituting R equal to 2. So, substitute R equal to 2 in the variance of error signal formula. Uh, we get 2 to the power of minus 2 B divided by 3. This is what I told you. We call it as steady state noise power due to input quantization. So, how do we illustrate that or how do we represent that? So, steady state output noise power um, due, this is, uh, this is uh, input quantization. So, how can we represent output noise variance, right? Due to the quantization error. So, output noise variance can be represented by using this uh, block diagram by considering an LTI system. So, X of n is given as the input where uh, E of n is the error signal that is uh, added. So, the signal which we are getting is quantized XQ of n which is applied to the impulse response H of n and we get an output Y dash of n, right? Uh, the output equation y dash of n here is represented as xq of n star h of n. What is xq of n? It is actually the added value of x of n plus e of n. So, x of n plus e of n star h of n. Now, um, multiply these two, you get x, star, x of n star h of n plus e of n star h of n. So, y dash of n is equal to y of n plus this error signal into the impulse response can be taken as epsilon of n. So, so, y of n is the output due to the input signal x of n, whereas epsilon of n is the output due to the error signal e of n. So, steady state output noise power due to the quantization errors is obtained by sigma e naught square is equal to sigma e square summation of n equal to 0 to infinity h square of so, now use the Parseval's theorem. So, par, uh, using Parseval's theorem, sigma e square uh, into 1 by 2 pi j closed integral of h of z, h of z inverse, z inverse dz. So, this is closed uh, contour integration around mo modulus of z is equal to 1 in the anticlockwise direction. So, this closed contour can be evaluated by using the z residue theorem of z terms form by using this formula. So, where uh, P1, P2 up to Pn are the poles of this particular transfer function H of Z, H of Z inverse, Z inverse, uh, that's it, right? So, now let us apply this in a uh, problem and look at how it uh, how it arrives at, right? For a recursive filter, the input X of N has a peak value of 10 volts represented by 6 bits. Compute the variance of output due to A to D conversion. So, this is asked. And this is the system given to us. Uh, let us see here. There is no, uh, uh, there is no sort of uh, 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 type of representation given, whether it is two's complement or one's complement. So for, uh, uh, a, so it is our choice. Now I am considering it as two's complement. So for two's complement, Q is equal to R divided by two to the power of B, right? So what are the values given? Range is given as 10 volts, and B is given as six. Now substitute out what is the q value right now this is the system given to us find out what is sigma e square what is sigma e square for two's complement it is q square divided by 12 and we know what is q square obtain the value right now now from the uh, diagram write the difference equation of the system so it is y of n is equal to 0.93 y of n minus 1 plus x of n right so taking z transform on both sides and the transfer function h of z we get this right in order to obtain the output steady state noise what to what is the formula sigma e e naught square is equal to sigma e square into the uh, this formula 1 by 2 pi j closed contour of x of h of z h of z inverse z inverse dz right by residue theorem we can write this equation as so how do we write we here we have only one pole right so write down that uh, depending upon the pole here uh, the only pole is z equal to 0.93 substitute that 
and find out the value. So now a sigma e naught square is the output noise power due to A to D conversion process, right? So now substitute it in the formula, we get this answer. So this is actually the output noise power due to A to D process. This is supposed to be a very easy topic. Uh, so much for listening patiently. Thank you.